Hi, my name is Alex and this is a secondary video to go with the first tutorial about proxy workflow in Keyflow Pro. This time I'm going to talk to you about shared proxy workflow. It's exactly what I did in the earlier tutorial with the exception of we've now got a server Keyflow Pro and we've got a client Keyflow Pro and we're using the server to distribute the assets. It's a simple solution and it's what everybody's been crying out for and it basically opens up Final Cut Pro um, to users who are working across the world. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm here on my iMac. My iMac is the server computer. So this is where the library is stored. Um, just before we do jump over to a client, I just want to show you a couple of things about the um, server side. Uh, one is here at the top. Um, this is my library here. Um, now, I've just got a little monitor there that tells me that this is actually a local library. So that's actually stored on this computer. Um, but down here, I've ticked these three boxes. These buttons are all very, very important. But this one, shared, is absolutely vital. This is my client computer. This is my MacBook Pro. Let's have a look at the desktop. I've got a couple of mounts here. I've got my uh, shared folder, which is where the Keyflow Pro libraries are. And I've also got my main storage mounted as shared folders or drives there. I've also set up um, Keyflow Pro to connect to the correct library. You can see that this library is a shared library from the little icon there. And this is my media. And over here in the inspector, you can see media's online. I've got access to the preview files, everything I want. Now, what do I want to do? I want to download these preview files to this computer so that I can run away for the weekend and edit. I don't even need a hard drive if I do this correctly. So let's go. So I'm just going to come lower down here and select these uh, group of sunset shots, these lovely shots in sunset, and I'm going to add them to a new group. So I'm going to call this uh, sunset, which is going to be inside of the project. So it's like a subset there. So that's that's all my sunset footage in there. Remember that this media is actually on the still on the server. It's still on the network and I could be sitting here in New York and my server could be in Los Angeles. So it's this point that I want to create a Final Cut Pro library. Keyflow Pro has a quick think, creates an XML, asks me for the name of a library. I'm going to call this uh, Sunset. A new library is created, the XML is exported, and this is my new Final Cut Pro library at this tiny little proxy resolution. Now, where are these proxies? They're still on the server. Okay, so again, the trick, very simple, consolidate library media, you can do it here, or you can actually do it over here in the inspector, click consolidate, and the preview files will be copied to my library storage locations, which in this case is inside of the library, which is probably the safest place. Now, what's happening right now, is that the preview files are downloading across the network. Now this will obviously depend on the speed of your network. So now I do my edit. I plug my computer in, open up the Keyflow Pro extension, and I drag my sunset edit into here. And Keyflow Pro does the rest. So I'm going to call this sunset online, put this into the same library. And now if I close this, double click this, there's my edit. But this is all my 4K files. That's shared proxy workflow. So I hope this solves a lot of problems for people and paves the way for more collaborative workflow in Final Cut Pro. Good luck. Thanks for listening. <laughs>